hi everyone this is smriti welcome to qa automation classes so today we are going to start a new series that will be on the btd selenium ui framework designing from the scratch and here we'll uh, go with the btd style of the development right so before doing that uh, we'll be briefly discussing the tdd versus the btd concepts okay so how exactly tdd and btd is used differently in terms of the development world as well as in the qa world okay so what exactly is a tdd right so if i have to say tdd versus btd okay so what is this tdd so tdd stands for test driven development and btd stands for the behavior driven development right so let's understand about the tdd so tdd is actually a two step process right and in the tdd the test cases are designed first for the functionalities and then those test cases are run right since there is no code developed for those functionalities yet those tests are definitely going to fail right and then the developer writes the code or they develop that code for that particular functionality for which they have already designed their tests okay and then they run those tests after the code is designed and this time the test should pass if the test is still failing they will go and update their code so these two steps is repeated the, if there is a new functionality they will first create the test and then they will design their code and they will run the test and make their code uh, pass okay so this is called as the tdd in terms of the development uh, thing right so and uh, this is basically done by the developer and it is known as the test first approach right what is this test first approach because we are going to test our code first okay so tdd is also known as the test first approach okay and then uh, tdd is purely white box in nature with the focus on the correctness of the code the developers focus is to get a correct code okay and uh, that is uh, all about the tdd in, in terms of the development point of the view now comes to the bdd so what exactly bdd bdd is nothing but the behavior driven development right so this bdd test are usually designed from the user perspective and they basically focus on the application behavior right how application should behave right so in bdd the features are designed uh, which describes the application behavior in simple plain english format right in the form of given when then and we use and right and uh, product owner is there developers qa they all work closely and comes up with all possible scenario that are going to be covered as part of that user story or the requirement okay and uh, the process for the bdd is uh, they design the uh, feature file describing the application behavior the product owner first describes what exactly they want what is the application how the application is going to behave right for this functionality and uh, then after the that 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 has been designed design the feature file describing the application behavior and then uh, in our automation point of view we'll run the feature file since there is no code is developed it is going to fail right and the developers are the testers they are going to design the code and then run this feature file to make it pass so this is known as the bdd process okay and uh, these two steps they keeps on repeating for the new new functionalities or the other new functionalities right and uh, bdd is basically an extension of the tdd test driven development okay so we understood the tdd and bdd with respect to development uh, and now let's understand how it slightly varies in terms of the QA, right? The concept is same, right? But in QA, when we develop the framework, we say we are working on the TDD framework and we are working on the BDD framework. So what exactly is this TDD framework and BDD framework, right? So generally, when the framework is developed using the Maven and test ng page classes and page object design pattern, and we have the test scripts, right? And uh, the HDET or QA engineers, they work on the developing code for uh, different functionalities of the application, right? in the form of the test script then this framework style is called as the tdd approach or the test script development okay okay so people who knows the technical knowledge they can only understand like what exactly is being automated there is no room for the non-technical people uh, they cannot uh, really understand by going through all the code right you have uh, your palm.xml you have test engine.xml you have your test cases you have your page classes right you have your uh, uh, test classes you have your base steps right so anyone who has good knowledge on the automation they can only learn about what exactly is happening in case of the tdd right that style of the development is known as the tdd style of the framework development right and uh, <clears throat> So there is no room for the technical people to understand what is being coded and tested through the framework, right? And uh, the execution flow of the, uh, of the test script and what are the functionalities are being tested, right? So those only the people who has some technical background and knowledge, they will come to understand, okay? 
and the integrity the focus is on the development of the functional test cases mostly we go with the functional test cases in the TDD case okay so uh, similarly for the bdd right uh, in case of the bdd automation framework development right the feature files are created first right and then after feature files are created then we create the step definition then we create the corresponding page class then reusable libraries are there right and uh, this style of the framework development is called as the bdd style of the test development because we are writing our behaviors in the feature files what exactly the application need right so that is known as the uh, bdd style of the development okay bdd style of the framework development in qa right so in this bdd uh, style of the test script development the non-technical people like product owner business analyst can also get the understanding of the features those are getting automated right so bdd style of the development it kind of bridges the gap between the technical team and non-technical team so in let's understand a non-technical person right who doesn't understand a lot into the coding right they want to just see okay these are the feature this is automated okay they will just open the feature file they will see okay this feature is automated this feature is automated this feature is automated they will just go through the feature file and they will come to know what are the different scenarios that are going to get automated through this feature file right and uh, and in the BDD, the focus is on the development of the user acceptance test mostly. And for every user story, there will be list of the acceptance accept, acceptance criteria defined by the product owner. So through the BDD, the QA code the test script to pass those business acceptance criteria, right? So that is basically uh, in TDD style and BDD style. In the TDD style in QA framework development, we use uh, test ng and we use form.xml and then test cases okay test cases and then uh, page classes right page classes and uh, we have base steps right as we have seen in our earlier automation framework development these things this is all technical right all the technical people can understand these things right only the non-technical people they don't understand this one so for that we have the feature files right so in the feature files we define the features uh, the behavior expected behavior of a particular uh, functionality or particular uh, functionality in the terms of the given when then it is a pure plain english like uh, language right so whenever any non-technical people go through the feature they comes to know okay so given a user is logged into the application right and uh, given the application url is open user is logged into the application and then you then user should be able to log in like something like that we'll see that in detail okay so what exactly is this feature file okay so yeah so that is uh, for today's uh, introduction session this is the tdd versus bdd so in the next upcoming session we will understand what is the bdd tools okay so what is the tech stack we are going to use and uh, what is the gherkin we will be using the gherkin and uh, we will understand the gherkin in detail okay after the understanding gherkin in the detail only then they will move to into the framework development okay so yeah that's all for this session guys if you guys are really enjoying these sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel q automation classes and uh, uh, and get updated with the latest tools and the technology that is happening around the QA world okay uh, but from that uh, if you really uh, have any questions then just put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible okay so see you in the next class thank you everyone bye bye